You guys, I have been cleaning all day long. So, granddaughter's coming over. Then we're gonna run out of town, grab some stuff. Uh, my grandparents, have, they get food from the food bank, but they usually get too much. So they share anything that they, overabundance with us. Um, it's, I'm really thankful for all the extras they give us and thank you DJ and Papa and my other side of my family, my Mima, she, when she gets um, food bank stuff shared with her, she will share anything that, that she doesn't eat and I do my best to use what we can and what we don't, our animals get. So it really helps out. Um, because they get a little bit extra sometimes and I'm really, really thankful for everything that we get. So that's the plan. After we pick that up, we're going to run to Walmart and get Christmas gifts, um, for our Christmas tomorrow. One of them, um, having little small get togethers. So my mother-in-law and my brother are coming over. It's weird to be laying here, but... It's been non-stop all day, so the first time I've got to sit down, and I'm tired, <laughs> and the granddaughter's on the way, <laughs> so I'm going to take a moment. Right, brownies in the oven. Yeah. So, yeah. It's going to be busy when they get here, and oh, huh, the whole reason I came on here. I was going to find out, I have a, um, I get a lot of eggs, get about seven a day now, could get about 10 to 14 a day this summer. How do you guys not get tired of eggs? Um, I know not everybody has their own chickens, but we don't sell a lot of eggs because you have to sell them from your property unless you have a license and nobody wants to come out this far. So Go figure. And then we um, we also have neighbors that have chickens, so there's not a whole lot of selling eggs here. But how do you not get tired of eggs? What? How do you cook them? You know, I do French toast. I do scrambled. I do, you know, over easy. I do egg sandwiches. Um, what else do you do with eggs? You know, I bake with them, of course, and I freeze them. I actually bag them up two to four in a bag freeze them and when i need them in the future i will have them haven't actually used frozen eggs yet so if i come back on here and be like not a good idea i'll let you know but supposedly they're not good for like whole eggs but you can bake with them you can scramble them and they're just going to be a bit, little bit different in texture but you know what it'll be better than not having any food at all you guys, I'm going to rest just a few minutes, relax, more or less, not rest. Wait for my granddaughter to get here, wait for those brownies to bake, and yeah, I haven't done the video on opening the um, packages, the envelope and the package yet. I should really do that. I've been non-stop cleaning because I do not like stuff on the floor when my granddaughter gets here. She's almost past the age where she picks things up randomly and puts them in her mouth. She used to just run around and find anything and everything on the floor that she could. Her little tiny fingers were so good at picking up teeny tiny things and just popping it in her mouth. It was exhausting. But she's getting better. She's almost two. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> All right, guys, I will add a picture of the brownies at the end of this and let me know what you do to use up your eggs because having eggs every morning isn't that bad, but not everybody wants to. And I have a lot, I have neighbors that have an abundance of eggs that they haven't been able to sell and their family's tired of eggs. Let me know in the comments below. Um, tell me you have a video on how you do the eggs and I'll come check it out.
so I'd like to know. <laughs> Bye, guys. Check out my brownies. Picture to follow. That sounded weird.